WrestleMania featured a lot of outcomes that no one really saw coming and that no one can really explain. One of those outcomes was Charlotte taking over and winning the NXT Women's Championship. It was unexpected, but at the same time, we should have seen it coming. It was reported a while back that the long-term plan for Charlotte is for her to tie her father, Ric Flair, for his record of 16 world title wins. Charlotte Flair is currently a former 10-time women's champion, and you can count her now two NXT title wins. That places her as a 12-time overall women's champion. But WWE is a bit funny when it comes to counting NXT title wins. Sure, they put it on your record, but it doesn't really count as a major world title win. So there's a bit of confusion there for Charlotte. Do we acknowledge her as a 10-time or a 12-time champion? Either way, WWE is continuing with their plan to get Charlotte to 16 world titles. Charlotte has a lot of title reigns, but her reigns are always surprisingly short. There's no real explanation for why her reigns are so short, but maybe the shorter reigns allow her to win the title more often. So that's definitely helping her get to number 16 even faster. You can take a look back at Charlotte's early years on the main roster, and you can see just how surprisingly short her reigns were. We all remember in late 2016 where Charlotte and Sasha Banks were playing hot potato with the Raw Women's title. The Raw Women's title was exchanging hands between Charlotte and Sasha Banks every two weeks back then. So Charlotte probably got about three to four of her world title wins from that feud alone. Then in 2019, Charlotte won the SmackDown Women's title a few weeks before WrestleMania 35 but ended up losing the title during the winner-takes-all main event match with Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey. So that was another short reign for Charlotte. Then fast forward a few months, and Charlotte would regain the women's title from Bayley, only to lose it to Bayley a week later. So as you see, that definitely is a weird recurring theme for a majority of Charlotte's reigns there. Always pretty short for the most part. That brings us to current day with Charlotte Flair winning the NXT Women's Championship from Rhea Ripley, who just won the title herself a few months back. So early predictions for this title reign, I think it'll be another short title reign for Charlotte. Charlotte winning the NXT title really doesn't make much sense because will she now be working double duty on Raw and NXT? Or will she be appearing on NXT? It's really confusing, but the best explanation for Charlotte winning the NXT title is because it sets up a major win for an upcoming NXT superstar. Whoever defeats Charlotte for the NXT Women's Championship is instantly going to make a name for themselves. Not only did they win the NXT Women's Championship, but they defeated Charlotte Flair to win that title. So it sets up some big bragging rights for whichever NXT talent will dethrone Charlotte Flair as champion. This also brings up the question, what is going on with Rhea Ripley? Rhea Ripley has a strong fan base. She's a really young talent at just 23 years old. It's her WrestleMania debut, so why didn't she get to have her big WrestleMania moment? No one really knows. The rumor that started going around that made people understand the WrestleMania outcome a bit more was that Rhea Ripley's working visa expired and that she had to return to Australia to renew it. But with everything being on shutdown, it was going to take longer than usual. So that was the reason why WWE had to quickly put the title on Charlotte before Rhea had to leave the States. But Rhea Ripley quickly addressed the growing rumor herself. Rhea posted a video to her official Instagram page that said, There's a rumor going around, still in America. Rhea then proceeded to show that she was still in her home in the United States. So that just makes everything a bit unclear again. When the rumors first came out that Rhea was headed back to Australia to renew her working visa. We all figured that it made sense and that Charlotte was a placeholder until everything with Rhea was figured out. It was even reported that Rhea would be off TV indefinitely because of the issue. But now that Rhea has put that entire rumor to rest, it just leaves us with more questions than answers. A big loss like this to Charlotte sure does hurt Rhea's momentum, but it's not completely devastating to her career. Rhea is only 23 years old and has already accomplished a lot in such a short time. So there's definitely time for her to bounce back from this WrestleMania loss, and who knows, maybe even take back the women's title from Charlotte and become a two-time champion herself. Rhea has already overcome a lot and accomplished a lot within her first few years with the WWE. Rhea started off as a special guest competitor during the Mae Young tournament, then moved over to NXT UK, 
and finally transitioned over to the main NXT brand. There's definitely been a lot of fans freaking out of the whole thing. Everyone respects the great talent that Charlotte is, but some fans just felt the NXT titles should stay amongst the young talent in NXT. Which is a good argument, but like we said before, it doesn't seem like this NXT title reign is going to be really long for Charlotte. So the title may be off of her sooner than we all think. We just learned this week that Shre has earned a title opportunity to face Charlotte in the future, but that still leaves Rhea in limbo. Will Rhea be gone from television for a long time, like the initial report stated, or will she be back soon? We still don't know yet and have to see how everything plays out with Rhea Ripley. So for today's bonus story, we'll be talking about some confirmation and update to Roman Reigns' WWE status. Roman Reigns has been at the center of everyone's attention lately because not only did he pull himself out of WrestleMania, Roman pulled himself completely out of WWE indefinitely. We don't know when he'll be back. But what we do have is a new update that confirms his status at least for the next few weeks. So let's swap on over and see what's going on with Roman Reigns. So everyone assumes it'll be several months before we see Roman Reigns again, and that is sort of looking true, at least for the time being. But what are your thoughts on the Charlotte Flair vs. Rhea Ripley situation and the update regarding Roman Reigns? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.